Levin is our evil 2018 Super Smash Brothers Melee Champion. Put it back things up. Guess what? If that punch, he's gonna get it off too. And Sonic Fox is your Evolution 2018 Champion. 2020 Street Fighter 5 Champion. When it comes to fighting games, nothing is as prestigious as Evo. But this year's EVO is already kicking off with some interesting topics to discuss. So we brought in our fighting game gurus, Mies and Drew, to break it all down. Boys, how's it going? Going good, going good. How are you? Good. You know, there is a lot to break down about EVO, so why don't we just jump right into it. Um, there's, you know, the main stage lineup is huge. Uh, there's games that are being featured that are, you know, let me list them for you. Dragon Ball Fighters, yeah. Grand Blue Fantasy yeah. Versus, Samurai Showdown, Soul Calibur VI, Street Fighter Fighter 5, Smash Brothers Ultimate, Tekken 7, and Uniclear. And there will also be that special invitational for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, but before we dive into what's left out, because I know there's lots of discussion you guys want to bring up about oh, that, yeah. Yeah. does this lineup get you hyped? It's, you know what, this lineup's actually really bittersweet for me, per mm -hmm. se, because they included a game that I feel deserves to be there, yes. has rightfully earned the spot to be there, has great developer support, and I... I can't help but feel bittersweet. But I am high for some Marvel, baby! <laughs> Marvel. Well, I think that was the huge surprise, right? Uh, were, are you hyped for Marvel? I know you're not so hyped for Samurai Showdown. I'll, I'll get, to, I'll get yeah. to that later, but Marvel, ever since um, Marvel Infinite came out and that game kind of flopped, yes. we've been like just yearning for some sort of Marvel presence at EVO. Sure. Because yeah. Marvel is like almost just as iconic as Street Fighter when it comes to EVO, like yes. being at EVO. So not having that the last, what, two, three, two years? Three years, man. Three, three years, years not having a Marvel game there has been just, it hasn't felt right. So, and they're bringing back the best Marvel game. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people love well, Marvel 3. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Do you bring, think bring this back is the, the right choice? One. Because a lot of people were hoping Marvel uh, versus Capcom 3 would make an appearance because there were rumors and everything like yeah. that. But do you think 2 is the better choice? 2 is a legacy choice. 2 is the game that built all the versus communities off of. Yeah. And it's also the hypest game. It's the reason when people think of FGC hype, it's really because the Marvel 2 scene has started all those trends. Mm -hmm. the, the high pace velocity of the mix-ups, the pace of the game is incredibly high. The game is very difficult to play. And on top of that, the, the many storylines, the legacy it has, the heritage, yeah. all the rivalries. And that's the thing, the FGC is all about personalities, yeah. and Marvel has the most electric personalities. So then going into that, do you think that there is that audience that really wants to see an uh, invitational like the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 invitational happen, um, where you have like this all-star match between players that are competing? Is there, like, should we see more of this at EVO, or is this just a one-off thing that you want to see? I, th I think more events need to have it. I, I don't think that events should be strictly open tournament. I don't think events should be strictly invitationals. I think there is a need for both, but right now we don't have many invitationals, and that's kind of really dampening a lot because casual audience just want to watch the best play, yes. right? And the worst part about the whole situation is that when you watch an open tournament format, you actually, you can skip an entire day and not really worry about anything because it's mostly cannon fodder versus pros. It's yeah. just a bunch of people who just entered in and they're all gonna scrub out the first round anyway, so I gotta getting like eight of the best players to ever do it and mm -hmm. only having them, it guarantees you're only have, gonna have high quality matches Especially, and it brings back a lot of like the histories as well. But, so. but does it guarantee you're gonna have only high quality matches? Let's talk about Justin Wong, for instance. You know, he's competing in this tournament, and he actually tweeted out that, "Damn, gotta practice the MVC2 now," uh, because you know, obviously, he's a little stale on that game. Do you think it's easy to pick up a game that you were once competitive in to then be at that level? as you were before. I feel like it's gonna be hard to get back to where he was at before, because mm -hmm. if you like look back, Justin Wong was, <laughs> he's, argu he's, like, he's arguably the greatest yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 player ever. Um, it takes a little bit to kind of get back into the flow of things, but to get back to where you were, you have to be practicing like every day, like non yeah. almost nonstop. So I wouldn't imagine he's gonna get back to where he was, but he'd probably get close. I, don't, I counterpoint with that. Mm -hmm. For example, that guy has muscle memory in that game that's been developed over 20 years, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, more, more like 10. But the thing is, he has enough time to redevelop that muscle memory. And on top of that, 
He's just a lawn. <laughs> He's yeah. just a lawn, and that's like, what's all wrong that you matters. People? That's fair. It's just a lawn. Yeah. And the best part is, this is something you guys don't know, but there's been a storyline developing in Marvel 2 in the last mm -hmm. few years, and that's the rise of chaos, right? The rise of chaos has caused all the Marvel gods, Sanford, Yipes, and Justin Wong to actually start training again because for a long time, in that 20 year period, they didn't have to train. Exactly. They were the best. Exactly. Justin Wong, <laughs> Yipes, and Sanford were the gods of Marvel. They yeah. didn't have to do shit. Yeah. Well, and that's right? why I was really surprised because I saw Justin tweet that like he was completely unaware that this was happening. Like Evo didn't let him know at all. <laughs> is that like, is that normal? Cause you know some behind the scenes stuff happens. Yeah. Mm. I would expect to have a tournament at that caliber. You at least have to confirm it with the people that are invited to make sure that they'll show up or else you don't have a tournament. Once again, I counterpoint argue, yeah. and that's unfair to the competitors who yeah. are still playing because let's face it, we saw Yipes', Yipes event, Battle yeah. of the Strongest Three. Yes. There is still a bunch of players playing Marvel 2, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's fair to them if Justin gets a head start yeah. in the yeah. Invitational, so he gets to train, and he gets invited, so he didn't even have to qualify, yeah. but he gets to train at the same time that everybody else gets to start training too. Yeah, and I think that's fair. It's gonna be a lot of training. Uh, let's actually get to one of the things that I know you guys are eager to discuss, and that is <sighs> the fact is. that Mortal Kombat 11 was left out. Um, where do you think this de decision, sorry, came from to leave MK11 out? It's terrible. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they were thinking. <laughs> I, and it sucks because Mortal Kombat is such, in such a healthy place, yes. in my opinion. It Usually, is. when fighting games come out, you see that maybe first six to seven months, that's when it's at its peak, and then yeah. it kind of falls down. Mortal Kombat's one of those few games I feel like has been getting more popular as like it's been out for almost a year now, and it's gotten more popular yeah. since then. So the fact that they decided not to have it, yeah. it's just, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I want to know the reasoning. Well, <laughs> for a long time, the NRS community has felt like the second cousin of the FGC. And it's because of the way evil uh, unfortunately treats them. And it created kind of a cycle where the NRS community treats evil like a, like a second cousin to their like primary events like East Coast Throwdown, Combo Breaker, yeah. and the CEO. And so that kind of like, the energy you put out is the energy you get back. And unfortunately, I wish that evil would have it. I don't understand the semantics behind it because yeah. there's, no, there's no game on that roster with a playable netcode. Yeah. Last year there was, and that game, was Mortal Kombat. Yeah. There's no game on that roster where there was an ever more passionate game developer than Warner Brothers with their community, and now there's zero. And I, it's, it, it breaks my heart, and this is why this evil is a little bit bittersweet for me, because I love Mortal Kombat 11. Mm -hmm. I love the community that has. I love the game, the game developer, the community developers there. They're, they're fantastic people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it sucks to get them see, treated this way. And I, I love Marvel too, yeah. and I can't, I couldn't help but feel shitty about the whole situation. Yeah. Well, I think maybe take out Showdown and replace it with MK <sighs> would have been the Showdown better alone. decision. Good. But um, to that point, like I saw B did release a YouTube video talking more about the mistreatment um, of the NRS community yeah. there. One thing that I didn't see him bring up, which I'm curious about, is um, the marketing, right? Because they have Smash Ultimate. And you know, I'm sorry, but we all know that Smash Ultimate doesn't get love. Yep. So why is it that you think that Evo decides to highlight a game that doesn't get love from their publisher, as opposed to a game like MK11 that does, when, to my opinion, they should be fighting more for what's right for the FGC? Yep. Uh, that is a question that unfortunately requires a lot of back stage politics. Yeah. I can't speak on it on my behalf, nor can I confirm or deny <laughs> your allegations. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it is, it, it just sucks to see because at the end of the day, the people who get hurt the most from this mm -hmm. are the players. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's something that I, unfortunately Evil has to recognize. Yeah. There is a, at, Mortal Kombat is the FGC too. Yeah. And you know what? They are one of the hypest parts, one of the most loving parts yep. of FGC. And I can't, I hope they're back next year. Yeah, I hope so too. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know, Sonic, he also so expressed funny. his disappointment um, and, you know, not being able to keep the title of champ for exactly. MK11. So, how do you think this will affect that 
franchise going forward for the FGC. I feel like if Nether Realms and Warner Brothers feel slighted, then they're gonna maybe just say, you know, whatever, we'll do our own, yeah. our own thing. Which I think they're having a thing next next month, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Final Combat is yeah. coming up. Yeah, very Final soon. Combat. So I feel like they might just say, you know what, screw Evo, we don't need you. We're gonna have our own thing. We have a big enough community where we could just just build upon that, give back to the people who have been supporting us this entire time, yes. instead of you who clearly don't care about us. So I feel like maybe that's the future for. Um, MK going forward, but we'll see. It'll be interesting. It'll be, it'll be very interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a lot of backstage politics that unfortunately yeah. can't be discussed or revealed on yeah. the show. Um, that's between Warner Brothers, NRS, and the evil organizers. Mm -hmm. I just hope that it does get solved very soon. Yeah, because the community misses it. Another thing another community is disappointed about is Melee not being included. Is this a surprise or like... Shouldn't they just get over it by Why now? Why are you surprised? <laughs> I'm not trying to lug around a, I'm not trying to lug around a 40 pounds, 40 pounds CRT. CRT. Yeah, come on, get, man. Get a bunch of Wii's and GameCubes out the dumpster. I love Melee. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say this for obviously you guys. I know. can't even find a legal copy of that <laughs> game. I'm sorry. Don't sue me, FBI. Just give up. Right? It's over. Don't sue me. Nintendo. Just give up. Just stop giving up. Just, just, stop. just give up hope. It's done. It's over. No one's trying to carry no damn CRTs. Yeah. And those there's these new monitors that they're apparently trying to use that don't have the input lag or yeah. some crap like that. But no one wants to buy those. Like, just get stuck. Get away with yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not trying to play a dolphin uh, emulator. I know, man. With an illegal uh, ISO. Oh I'm trying gosh. to play for real. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, so no love for <laughs> Melee. Unfortunately, what I'm interested in seeing maybe in the future, if we see, like, similar to the Marvel vs. Capcom Invitational, maybe they'll do a Melee Invitational. That would be cool. That would be really sick. Only time will tell, right? Yep. I'd, I'd love that, though. See, invitationals are a format that should be more yes. uh, welcomed with yeah. open arms in FGC because it allows to keep some of the games that we love dear, like legacy games, like me, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, alive. Yes. Because we, I only want to see the best play. Yeah. And let's face it, I love seeing Mango wave dash. Exactly. Ooh, I cannot exactly. wait. Thank you guys so much. We could continue this discussion forever, but we won't. Thank you guys. <laughs>